We're here doing uh, build work for the DIY sheet bender. So based on uh, the design, I prepared a cut list and during the cutting process, I didn't really have to think of the design anymore. So I could just, you know, do all the cutting work easily. You have a slow motion shot here. So don't do that, that's a dangerous move. Took me about probably 3 hours to do all the cutting work uh, for this sheet bender. So one of the hardest uh, cuts that I had to do was this one. So I had to cut along the length of the angle bar. It took me about 10 minutes to do the entire cut. And then these are some of the smaller parts. This is for the clamp. So if you notice, it seems to be easy to cut it. But take note that you have to hold the grinder really tightly. The grinder tends to kick. So you must always use a guard to protect yourself. So this is the chamfer or the tapered for the clamp and then uh, I had to do some uh, filing. So these are all the parts. So the next day what I did was to do all the drilling work. So here I just simply lay out everything first and then putting in some center punches so I discovered that this process is faster I'm using some kind of a liquid contained in a alcohol bottle so it's actually a water soluble cutting oil mixed with water so these are the parts that has uh, countersunk holes so I'm using a countersunk bit to do that Of course, I had to do some uh, tapping work. Uh, other parts are should have like a thread to it. So this is the tapping process using M12 by 1.75 uh, hand tap. So in the afternoon of the same day, I began doing the weld work so you notice here that I'm using a chunky bigger angle bar to align the two shafts together so this will allow me to have a straight shaft with consistent uh, axis so preparation is actually longer than the actual welding process but for elements like this you have to make sure that the alignment is straight Otherwise, uh, you will have problems with assembly and function. So these are the support for the bearings. And then again, uh, doing a lot of uh, preparation, alignment and whatnot. So these are the bearing mounts. So again, the actual welding process is short, but the preparation is longer. Those are the brackets for the handle and these are the, for the clamping. So this allows me to clamp it in all the lengths of the sheet. And finally, I have here the handle. So I'm using stainless tubing. So I have a separate video on the welding process of this. It's quite challenging because uh, it's very thin so you can watch that. And uh, of course the paint work. Before prior to painting I actually uh, applied iron phosphate the uh, day before and the actual painting is just uh, primer and paint. So 
course you have your assemblies pretty much basic with just you know assembly tools and here's the finished product and of course we have testing so the first test I did was the hem so if you notice I'm able to bend it more than 90 degrees so almost 180 degrees and to complete the hem I can just simply hammer it down and uh, the rest of the tests are just simple 90 degree bends so I have a, another set of videos for the design process. So for you that likes to watch CAD work in the design process, uh, there's a link here uh, for those videos. So that's it. So I hope you've uh, learned something and uh, I will see you on the next video.